Can humans reproduce by parthenogenesis? Have you ever wondered if humans could reproduce without the involvement of a male? This concept is known as parthenogenesis, a fascinating form of asexual reproduction. In parthenogenesis, an organism develops from an egg cell without fertilization. While this process is common in certain species, like some fish and reptiles, it is not something that typically occurs in humans. In biology, parthenogenesis involves the development of an embryo from an unfertilized egg. This can happen naturally or through artificial means. However, in humans, parthenogenesis is extremely rare and does not lead to valuable offspring. When it does occur, it often results in abnormal tissues or tumors, such as ovarian teratomas, rather than a fully developed individual. The main difference between parthenogenesis and sexual reproduction is the genetic diversity. In parthenogenetic offspring, all genetic material comes from the mother. This lack of genetic variation can be a significant limitation. Human reproduction usually requires both male and female gametes, which are sperm and egg cells. These gametes combine to form a zygote that has a complete set of chromosomes. For parthenogenesis to work in humans, there would need to be a way to restore the diploid number of chromosomes in the egg cell. Unfortunately, this mechanism is not naturally observed in humans. As a result, parthenogenesis is not a valuable method of reproduction for our species. In the realm of biotechnology, understanding parthenogenesis can provide insights into cloning and asexual reproduction techniques. Researchers study this process to learn more about reproduction and genetic manipulation. However, due to biological constraints, applying parthenogenesis in humans is not currently feasible. In summary, while parthenogenesis is a fascinating reproductive strategy in some species, it does not work for humans. The inability to produce genetically diverse and valuable offspring makes it an impractical method for human reproduction. So, while the idea of reproducing without a male might be intriguing, it remains firmly in the realm of science fiction for now.